all right guys welcome back to the channel so today we are replacing power steering pump decided to take a crap and uh yeah this car seems to never give up but so i'm gonna take you along and just show you pretty much how to replace it this is 87 chevy celebrity pretty much the same thing as a cavalier uh chevrolet bretta and um quite a other few vehicles oldsmobile Colossera same design and uh, buick centuries have the same power steering pump so uh first thing i noticed was all this fluid on the ground when i got up one day and uh come to find out looked right here and there was fluid dripping down and getting down on the crankshaft pulley which is soaked in fluid and the uh bottom uh, motor mount is soaked and you can see the fluid on the ground down there. So first thing you want to do is remove the belt, get that out of the way. Just throw that away. And um, pump doesn't sound too good. So it was already time for it to be going out. The car set for seven years, so this is what's going to happen. Things are just going to start failing on it left and right, and then I can't stop it. So uh, the seal in here went bad. There's nothing you can do about it. You might as well just get another pump. So first thing, another thing you want to do is drain the fluid. Get all the fluid out of it because you're going to have to take the lines off, and there's fluid going to go everywhere. So you might as well just drain it now before you mess with it. You're going to need the power steering pulley removal and installer kit. Not a sponsor. Got this at O'Reilly's. It was 40 bucks. Loaner tool. And uh, the new power steering pump are remanufactured with lifetime warranty from O'Reilly's. Not a sponsor. It's part number. Comes with a reservoir. I think it was around 55 bucks for another one. And uh, you got to transfer the pulley to the new one, so that's why you got to have it. Take the belt off, very easy. 3 8 ratchet, put it into the tensioner, pull counterclockwise up, take the belt off. There's this cover that is held on by three 10 millimeter bolts. Take that off, lay that to the side. Now that you got the fluid out, you got the belt off, take the pulley off first. And then we'll go from there. All right, so I'm gonna take this guy that was in this slot, which is here. Take the round disc cup and the other pieces, put it on. They basically just go around the shaft and you slide the coupling around it so they don't pop off. Then you tighten this down, just like so. And you're gonna need a 5 8 I'm using a line wrench because it won't slip. And then you're going to need a crescent wrench because I don't seem to have the size for the bigger nut right there. I can't seem to find it. So basically what you're going to do is go this way to the left with that one. This one to the right. Essentially pulling the pulley off. Alright, now that you got the pulley off, as you can see... All the debris and nasty wetness, the seal right here is what failed and caused the leak. Now, real quick, I'll show you what I was talking about, about the sleeve. Remove the sleeve. This just holds these two together because they come apart. See, it has a deeper and a not so deep. The deeper end will go to the pulley shaft. Or the other one both have the same thing so the deeper would go down this slides over this is the part see it's got a groove on it so this actually grabs like that and pulls it off but you got to have all this together or it won't come off see the groove the slit and the pulley Clean this up Have that ready to be installed now. I will say real quick if you're going the junkyard route 
I don't highly recommend that, but you may find one at the junkyard that's brand new that you want. And uh, they usually cost around 25 bucks. So you don't have to remove the pulley to get this off. These three bolts right here are 10 millimeters. You can get to them through the pulley, through these holes. You just turn the pulley till it lines up and you can get this out. It's not a big, it's not a big deal. Um, so the next thing now, we gotta knock these loose and uh, then get it off. If it doesn't come off, because the lines go down through here, that means the alternator's gotta come off, the bracket's gotta come off, then we're able to get it out. Okay, so can't get it out. The bracket's gonna have to come off. It will not move at all. I took a flathead and moved the line over, but there's still a whole bottom part that's gotta come up above this right here and then out. And it can't do that with the uh, bracket and the alternator in a way. So the next thing you gotta do is undo the battery, take the alternator off, the bracket, then the power steering pump can come off. So, take this 10 millimeter bolt out. This is a 15, that one's a 15, this one's a 15, all three nuts. Then you have a 13 millimeter here, and you gotta unplug the connection, and then there's a 10 millimeter on the positive side from the battery after you unhook the battery so now you got the bracket off you got the alternator set out of the way i didn't actually disconnect all the connections i just unbolted it set it to the side it's not gonna hurt it now the next thing you gotta deal with is these freaking studs the only way to get them out is to take the two nuts that held on the bracket put one on backwards put the other one on like you would tighten them together tighten this one clockwise tighten the other one counterclockwise and you'll get the stud out and then when you get it out just unloosen them and do it for the other two and then you'll be done because that's the only other option there's supposed to be a certain size that fits on this end but it will not work because this one snapped off see once you do that the whole thing comes out All right, so now you want to take your, I think it was five eighths. Yep, five eighths, put it on the line, knock it loose like I already did. Counterclockwise, lefty loosey. And then take the nut back out. I actually had to put the bolt back in to hold the pump still, and then you can take it back out. You want to make sure, if you didn't drain this, and even if you did, you still want to make sure that you cover when you undo these lines because there's fluid that's still going to come out of there. Okay, so <clears throat> what you want to do is now that you got the old pump off and uh, you spilt fluid everywhere, because I did, you need to suck every bit of this out because in the instructions, as it says on the sticker, warranty, avoid warranty, always flush your system, use recommended fluid. So if you need to get all that out, unless you just don't care and you want to put it back together, that's fine, that's on you. So there's an O-ring here that came in a package. This guy, I don't know what the other one is for, but uh, I'll figure it out. And uh, it's got a bunch of instructions and stuff like that. And I'm going to read all that. But anyhow, i got to return this tool. So I need to go ahead and get this pulley put back on. I can still put everything back on with the pulley on. As I mentioned before, take some oil on your finger. Rub it around the shaft of the pump. That way it makes it a little bit easier for this pulley to slide back on evenly. Alright, so you want to take item sits here in this slot which is the camera would focus looks like A and B but not really using the other piece which is this because the threads don't match up with this one so I'm actually using the other part which sits here which is H and uh, then I'm using the other part. It's a 15 millimeter. Tighten this all the way down into the pump 
shaft. Make sure it's tight and snug. Take the other one that is a, I believe, 11 sixteenths is this size. And uh, pretty much just turn it until it goes all the way down onto the pump until it completely stops. I've already got it halfway on. So uh, you got to hold this one at the same time you're tightening this one at the bottom. So put the pump on so I could line it up right. <clears throat> There is a little bit of a, uh, not what you say a wobble, but something like that. Anyhow, I put it on the car, put two bolts in it, just so I could see where the holes line up. I mean, the uh, threads. It's got to line up directly, just like where the crankshaft pulley is, or the harmonic balancer. Make sure that it lines up straight down there. If it doesn't, and you got to put the belt on and put everything back together, then it's going to swell like mad. So make sure that that's done. Once you do that, then that's pretty much done after that. You should just put it on until the pulley stops completely. Once that is, then you pretty much got it on the way on. Alright, <clears throat> so I'm not sure where I left off. Uh, as you can tell, it's dark. So anyway, back from the parts store, getting parts and some other things I needed. I got new hose to replace this guy that went here. And uh, yeah, it's deteriorated. And I'm not a fan of these clamps. I don't like them at all. I like the ones where you screw it down and you tighten it down. So here's the size, cut it to fit. It's actually power steering hose. It's got ribbon in it. It's very stiff. Should withstand heat pretty good. Open up the package, make sure you read all the instructions, all that good stuff. Two new clamps. Got the O ring to go here. And I'm suspecting this goes on this guy at the bottom. We'll find out. I'm going to go ahead and put this hose on, tighten it down, put it on the reservoir and tighten it down. Make sure you take the nipple off because that's a plug. And uh, Okay, so I took the pump off. The pulley is completely on. As you can see, it's flush and it does line up as I spoke before. Uh, before these lines go in, it's easier with the pump off. To get the lines to go on so you don't strip wrist strip in this i do recommend putting some teflon tape on the threads of this you can get it any auto parts store um cheap even harbor freight carries it and that's usually where i buy it at because harbor freight you can buy it in bulk but get it all on tighten it down lubricate the o-ring with power steering fluid um and then put it in <clears throat> i've not tightened it completely down yet i just got the pump to the timing cover bolted on the three 10 millimeter bolts it didn't go nowhere now I gotta tighten up this clamp tighten up this clamp and get this 5 8 line tightened down and uh, then we can finish putting everything else back together and put fluid in it all right so everything's tightened down snug you want to be easy with that one line with the o-ring or you'll crush it and bend it or break it or crack it and then it will leak that's another reason why I have Teflon tape, so it's like an extra caution. So I got some Lucas for the rack and pinion because it does leak pretty bad. And uh, I don't feel like fixing that right now. Without a lift, that is not an easy job to do. So I'm going to dump a bottle of this stuff in there. It's like molasses. It's so daggum thick. Getting the brackets put back on, the studs are in. Do the same trick as you did to taking them off, to tighten them back. All right, everything's back together. Belt's on. Not fired it up yet. It's still low on fluid, so I gotta top it off, and uh, then I'll fire it up. All the tools are out of the way. It's kind of full. Alright, you want to leave the cap off. Because when you start it up, it may whine for a few minutes until it sucks all the fluid down. You may have to refill it. You're going to get in it, turn the wheel back and forth at least about four or five times. till it's finally bled. And, uh... Oh yeah, 
suck that down pretty fast. Turn the wheel back and forth. Bleed all the air out of it. Yeah, I can definitely feel it. You'll feel it in the steering wheel as you turn it. It gets kind of st stiff and then loose. It's working all the bubbles out. Alrighty, I think that's going to call it for this video. There's no leaks, there's no problems, all the air is bled out, fluid's full, I have power steering, unlike before. So, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Big thumbs up, I appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the bottom, I'll try my best to get to them. And uh, as always, if you hadn't already, hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're at 2,000 subs, and that's just, it's really crazy. If it wasn't for you guys, I don't know. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Have a great day or night. Hope this helps out.